Awesome, my name is Rob. I brought my guitar. If you're nice to me, I'll play you a song. If you're not nice to me, I'll play you a song by Creed. So, and sometimes you just hear a song too much and you just can't like it. You know, hey there, Delilah, and the click. Hey there, Delilah, and the click. Hey there, Delilah. Ah, uh, Delilah! Answer this dude's email. Oh, I heard a, and don't make the mistake of listening to the lyrics of a pop song if you hear it that many times. I accidentally listened to the lyrics of a Pussycat Doll song. <laughs> Big mistake. Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was raw like me? No. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy that my girlfriend is not a hoe. <laughs> I once heard a song, I had to listen to it five times before I realized it was a dude singing. Is that ever happened? Oh, beautiful. Some women go nuts for that. They think that's so sexy. I don't want to I sound like I'm 12. <laughs> Got kicked in the nets. That should only be sexy to creepy old men. <laughs> I love my neighbor, and that's for sure. He brings my paper right to my door. He's my paper boy. He's my, my paper boy. Awesome, and I'm going to leave you with a little story. It's a story about a piece of classical music. And, uh, all right, one person is a fan of classical music. <laughs> well, even if you're not a fan of classical music, you actually know this song because it's just that ubiquitous, if I may use a 50 cent word, uh, not a 50 cent word. Um, but I'll sing the melody for you because you'll recognize it as soon as I sing the melody. You've heard this in a lot of places. Yeah, it's Pachelbel's Canon in D. It's a big hit in the classical world, you know, you hear it a lot at weddings and stuff, and I know this because I'm a huge geek. I know what you're thinking, you're like, Rob, you can't be a huge geek, you play guitar, you're so cool. <laughs> All right, you weren't thinking that, but I was. All right, um, I haven't always been this cool because I haven't always played guitar. I actually started out as a cellist when I was seven years old. <laughs> Oh sure, being an adult who plays the cello is alright. Being a kid that played the cello sucked. Because there's just no way to be cool when your instrument is larger than you. <laughs> when I would walk to school with my cello through my neighborhood, I was like a wounded gazelle on the Serengeti. <laughs> Bullies could smell me coming from a mile away. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, but I know I'm gonna break it. <laughs> Thank you, cello. <laughs> it was so bad the guys in the AV club made fun of me. <laughs> because they don't have to wheel their projectors to school, you know? But I put up with all of the crap because I loved all of the music that we played, except this piece. I hate Pachelbel's Canon in D, because the cello part is the worst cello part ever written in the entire history of cello parts. It's eight quarter notes repeated over and over again. They are exactly as follows. I can sing the entire cello part for you right here now, right now. This is it, the whole thing. D. And that's it. That's all we play. We repeat those eight notes 54 times. I counted. So I had nothing else to do. If you ever see Pachelbel's Canon in D performed live by an orchestra, watch the cello section. We never know when it's over. And I'm sitting there daydreaming, trying to figure out, how am I going to ask the first violinist out? But first violinists don't date cellists because they're like the divas of the orchestra. They're like the lead singers with their fancy runs and their cute melodies. And in Pachelbel's canon in D, the violas get lovely melodies and that shouldn't happen. And also the second violins, they get a turn at the melodies and that's just rubbing it in. The second violin should be the pa-pa to my oom um, and that's it. If you're fans of German oompa um music, you know what I'm talking about. And I began to wonder why. Why would Pachelbel do this to such a beautiful instrument? Why would he stick it with such a crappy part? And my theory is that he once dated a cellist. And she dissed him really bad. Like, I don't know what she did. She slept with Mozart or something. I don't even know if they were alive at the same time. <laughs> It'd be gross if they weren't. Um, my point is, don't dwell on the image. My point is, she did something horrible to ruin his life. So he tried to ruin the lives of cellists for the rest of his life. It wouldn't be so bad if I didn't hear him every day. You're probably thinking, Rob, stop listening to classical music. Problem solved. No, he's following me. 
Sounds paranoid, but it's true. He might be following you too, you just don't realize it. I went to my step-nephew-in-law's eighth grade graduation. Yeah, I don't know how we're related, but he's there every Christmas. So I'm at this eighth grade graduation trying to enjoy it. They play that Friends Forever song that everybody plays. The music starts, I try to enjoy the graduation. The sinking feeling hits me. As we go on, we'll remember. So on the drive home, I turn on a classic rock station. They're playing some Aerosmith. Yeah, there was a time. When I was so broken hearted, la da 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 I got home, I turned on some of my parents' folk music. Listen, children, to my story. It was written long ago. They do Paca Bell, just like everybody does Paca Bell, just to torment me. I don't even go to Taco Bell anymore because it sounds too close. <laughs> You think about it, he's the original one-hit wonder. He had one hit 400 years ago. It's been ruining cellist lives ever since. What are they gonna do, a where are they now? Where are you now, Paca Bell? Dead, that's where, stop ruining my life. They're not gonna do an I love the 1690s. <laughs> or 17, I don't even know when you were alive. I don't even know your first name. It's probably Johan. They're all named Johan. It wouldn't be so bad if you would just stay away from music that I love, but he's relentless. I once went to the Horde Festival because I used to like Blues Traveler. I drove three states and camped out overnight to hear Blues Traveler, but when they hit, played their first song, I had that feeling. Suck it in, suck it in, suck it in when you're in Berlin or in Tin Tin. Made a sprint move and then you're in. So I figure I'm only gonna listen to Nouveau Punk Rock for the rest of my life. No, do you have the time to listen to me whine? You know I'm getting really bored Cause all songs have the same damn chords A punk music is a joke It's really just Baroque <laughs> Am I just paranoid? Na -na -na -na. I wanna push you around Well I will, I won't It's been good living with you And my machine head is better than the rest My machine head is better than the See the stone set in her eye See the thorn twist in her He was a boy, she was a girl Could be any more obvious way Gonna take it. No, we're gonna take it. On your market, set and go now. Got a dream, and we just know now. I'm all out of faith. This is how I feel. I'm cold, and I'm steam. Lying naked on the floor. No woman, no cry. Yeah, yeah. When I find myself in time of trouble, Pocket Bell's always following me. I'll see you in hell, Pocket Bell. Oh, Pocket Bell, Pocket Bell. I'll see your ass in hell. I'll see you in hell. Thank you.